Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can turn off your out of office in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you need to understand with respect to your out of office in Microsoft Teams is that it is actually synchronized with your out of office in Microsoft Outlook. Now, in order to turn off your out of office in Teams, you can either do that directly through the Microsoft Teams application, or you could do it through Outlook. Now, before I show you both options and how changing it in one place will affect the other place. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on my profile picture here, my initials, and I'm going to click on set status message. Now you'll notice at the very bottom of this menu is a schedule out of office button. Now I'll go ahead and click this. And this is how you can access your out of office in Microsoft Teams. Now, if this was enabled, you could just go ahead and toggle this option here, turn automatic replies off, and that is going to disable your out of office. Now, pay attention to the fact that right now it is disabled in Teams, and I'll just X out of this, and you can see that my status is green. Now what I'll do is I will bring up Outlook, and I will click on the settings icon, and I'll click on view all Outlook settings. Next, I'll click on automatic replies, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on automatic replies here, and I'm also going to check send replies only during a specific time period. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So I've set my out of office in Outlook and I'll just close out of this menu. And now when I bring Microsoft Teams back to the foreground here, if I click on my profile picture again and I click into set status message and I click schedule out of office, you can see here that it has been turned on and that the send replies only during a specific time period has also been enabled. So again, setting your out of office in Outlook is going to cascade into Teams and vice versa, and the same applies when you're actually disabling it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off here in Teams. And again, to do that, you just wanna to toggle off this turn on automatic replies option. I'll go ahead and X out of this menu. And now when I go back into Outlook, Again, if I click on the settings icon and I click on view all Outlook settings and I click on automatic replies, you can see here that it is still on. Now this is what you might notice from time to time is that you disable it in one place, but it doesn't update right away. That is just because there's a bit of a, sometimes a lag between Teams and Outlook in terms of when they sync. So now if I just go ahead and click out of this and click discard, and now if I go back and click into the settings and view all Outlook settings, and I click on automatic replies, you can see here that this has been disabled. So again, if you turn off your out of office in Teams, it will automatically cascade into Outlook, but there is a bit of a lag sometimes, and sometimes you might notice that it doesn't actually disable. You might need to just come back into um, Outlook or Teams, wherever it won't turn off and just manually turn that off again. So that's it. This was just a really quick tutorial showing you how to turn off your out of office in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.